This is Sifu Slim coming to you live from Kitzbühel, Austria, home of many Olympic champions. This is a phenomenal town. Uh, there's fog in them, there are hills right now. It's, uh, they did have Schnee, a little bit of snow in April. There are glaciers about an hour away from here and I will check them out next weekend. And I'm looking forward to a wonderful stay in Austria, Österreich where people are friendly, nature is nature, and it's all here for your enjoyment. Good water. It's been two days in München, Munich, and the water there is incredible also. So tremendously fun times, long flights from Hawaii to LA, and then a week later, LA, Detroit, Munich, quite an ordeal. But I made it and I'm back and I've got my map. Here's the map of Kitzbühel. And here's the wider map. And the park where the workout will be tomorrow is right here. Aquarena. And there's a Brau, Uber Brau, or Usur Brau, where I'm going to have some dinner shortly. And so lots of stuff to do. They've got a antique car uh, production going on starting Wednesday and I believe this might be one of the cars that's going to be featured in it. What kind of car do you think this is? Let's take a look. We'll see. I can't tell. I know it's a DS, which is Deluxe Super, Deluxe Super. It might be a Citroën, but it doesn't have any uh, emblems on it that I can tell. Citroën? Yep. Uh, nine, no, don't tell me. 1959. 1967. 67. This one. Can yes. you tell me something on the video about the car? <laughs> uh, in English. Yeah, English would be good. Uh, I just, I just have let it make new. It was an old one, and it's completely restored. What did you From, have to do? Rust? Um, it was, it was completely destroyed. Everything, including what? the engine, including everything, it was completely built from from nothing. Was it rusty everywhere? I think so. Yes. Was it kept outside? Yes. No, I don't know. It, I, I got it from Germany, uh, near Frankfurt, and there is a specialist who makes that, and he makes a few of them only anymore, so it's very rare in, in the meantime to get this one. What comes to head? From Kitzbühel. Kitzbühel. Yeah. Are you a skier? Yes. Instructor? No. No. <laughs> did you <con> Consumer. <laughs> did you ever compete in a sport when you were younger? Uh, compete, yes, in skiing a little in bit, but a little bit. just hobby, probably. Are you retired? No. No, what do you Not do? Yet. I'm a lawyer. Oh, you're a lawyer. And you? I am a writer and I write books on health and wellness. Uh, I'm from, you come from? Uh, Santa Barbara, California, and Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh -huh. I live uh, in Santa Bowl. Barbara, I've been. You've been? Four years ago with a motorbike. Where did you start with your motorbike? Uh, from LA down to San Diego and then through Death Valley and up to Lake Tahoe. What month in Death Valley? Uh, what month? September. That's better than June. Yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah, it was very hot. Fe February is a good time to be in Death yeah, Valley. Yeah, I think so, yes. And then we have, uh, we were up to the uh, Napa Valley, to the wine. Yeah. Beautiful. And then San Francisco, because I wanted to make the route number one down back to LA from there back home. How many days from San Francisco to LA? Four? I think about, yes. Four days. I don't know exactly anymore. Did you like Big Sur? Yes. The yes, big cliffs? Yes, yes. It was marvelous. Yes. Marvelous. And yes. so you're from a small town, right? Here? Yes. And did you ever live in the big city, maybe studying law? Mm, no, just in Innsbruck and Salzburg. Innsbruck and Salzburg. Salzburg. to compare with LA, of course. It's much smaller. Yeah, it was nice with a Honda Goldwing. 
uh, you rent wife. it? Yeah, I rent it mm -hmm. in LA, no problem. And it was very comfortable. <laughs> and are you in the Wednesday show with this car? Do you know that car thing they have Here, Wednesday? Here, Alpen Rally, no. What, is that old cars? Old cars, yes. Even older than this, some of them? Some of them, of course, yes. From the 20s up to the 70s, 80s. This one's 67? Yes, 67. And you were, uh, you were, let me see, 15 years old in that year? In 1967? In 1967, I was, I was 14. 14, <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. pretty close. Yeah, you were pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> and um, any good stories from your family that you can share in one minute? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, I, I'm just, I love stories from yeah. people. Did your father, was he in World War II? Yes. He was. Yeah, my father was 15 he at was, the end of World War II, yeah. so he didn't have to do it. Uh, he, he was wounded very much. He was very lucky because um, they have been in a bunker, four people, and he, he was the only who was just getting up, and the others were sitting. And there came a, I don't know the English word, a, 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 a grenade? Yeah, grenade, you say. And everyone got it into the head. And he mm -hmm. got it into the shoulder because he was standing at and this he moment. he got thrown, probably. And that's what, why I'm alive. Alive. Yeah, that's right. So he, he was like 20 years old, 22? He was at this time, no, it was, he was born 1911, so he was more than 30. Did he have a, a good life after the war? Yes, he was chief of the administration here in Kitzbühel and he lived in this house. What does that mean, like the mayor? Not the mayor, no. because the mayor is a political institution, but the administration is, I don't, don't, don't know. Is it dealing with the money? No. no. With All the employees for the city? Not, not for the city, for the, for the area around county? All the, the county. The county, yes. Chief of the county. Chief From of the county. The district of Kitzbühel, you know. Did he ever go to America? He did. With you? No, with no. my sister. <laughs> with your sister. <laughs> very very he nice. He didn't talk English very much, so he needed he needed the help of my sister. Because he learned French and was cool not English. That's what I, I learned French and Spanish, so I'm here learning German uh -huh. at the uh, Deutsche Institut uh -huh. Tirol. Uh -huh. okay. And um and so you um you're doing law. What type of uh, law do you do? Almost everything. Almost everything. You know, it's a, a small town, and uh, you cannot specialize just to do anything. You so you're a private attorney. Yeah. Everything, everything. from divorcing to up to driving license and up to everything. <laughs> when when you do what your life is bringing. When you do your continuing education to keep your license, do you go to the city to do that for a few days? Sometimes. Sometimes. To Innsbruck. Innsbruck. Well, thank you for your information. Uh, bon chance. <laughs> bonne chance avec la yeah, Citroën. Yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, isn't it? How did they find all the parts to fix you? He, fix he buys old cars in, in, in France. He keeps them, keeps the he parts. He has a, a huge area and thousands of parts. And he makes everything. And I asked him, what is if you don't have get the part? He said, then I make it myself. Is the fixing this car more expensive than buying this car? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. But you got a beautiful car. <laughs> yes, and it's uh, the price is even rising, and this is falling from yes. the new cars. This it's will falling. keep. This will keep this going. This will keep the price. Yes. And if you see, it's everything is new. Everything is new. Did he even make even all screws? If you look, it's all new. Wow. Did he make? Do you smell inside? Did he make these seats? Yes. Four speeds. That is semi-automatic. You, you, do you know what, what the special things of this car is? I know the Citroën goes up and down. Yes, goes up and down. Look at this. There is no clutch and no brake pedal. So you just listen to the engine to move to the gear? Yes, you, you, you just move it here and it's always hydraulic system. It changes. So you have to, to change the gears but without clutching. And you have, the brake is only opening the hydraulic system, so you have no, no pedal. It's, it's, 
absolutely unique. <laughs> It's absolutely unique and you have to get used to it. You have to get used to that. Yeah. And you can stop just as fast as I can stop in a normal car. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Works very well. And it works very well. Yeah, very well. Beautiful. But I did I have it just one week now, so I have to get used to it. <laughs> and you have to wait at the beginning a little bit until it's up and down and <laughs> it's did, it's absolutely did, funny. They started making these in diesel in when, the nineteen seventies? They they made it from 1955. The it's, diesel and the diesel. Yeah, the diesel. It's not diesel. The, and but they make the, no, some. The, the not this one. No, no, no. It's only only. I I went in the you know the French car from the 1970s and 80s that they use as an ambulance mm -hmm. in France. That mm -hmm. long one. Um, the long one, the brake. They call it brake. The brake. Yes. Is, yeah. And they had um diesel in the car mm -hmm. that yeah. that I was in. And when they brought it. Out. This car was 1955 on the Auto Saloon in Paris, and this was a revolution. Look, look at the cars 1955. 1955. They were like this, and this was absolutely. And they sold 80,000 cars on this Auto Saloon in one week. 80,000. 50, 55. They did not know how to produce so many contracts they made. There's a, uh, a French movie from the 60s. Fantomas, Louis de Finet. I, I haven't seen the Louis de Finet, but I've seen the Jacques, uh, Jacques Tati. You know this French uh, actor? He does things without talking. He's in these movies without talking. Yeah. Les Vacances de Monsieur Hulot. It's a famous movie. Mm -hmm. But there's one where he's involved with an automobile show in Paris. Mm -hmm. And if you look up Jacques Tati. Mm -hmm. Jacques Tati. Yeah. This was, and I have a book. I, I read about this car, and that's why, I, because I never had a Citroen before, never. But if you read the story, how they developed, it is so interesting and so exciting. That's why I said I want to have this car. So the French, for a few years, were the leaders of, ahead of the yeah. Swedish, the Germans, yeah. absolutely, because this was so innovative. Did anybody copy the hydraulics in their they automobiles? Tried, and Mercedes did sometimes. If you go with this, over this, uh, you don't, you don't, you don't feel it. Re recognize it yeah. even so soft, because they have no uh, fader, no, and only this, this hydraulic system with gas and. Are they still making a hydraulic Citroen? No, too expensive to make it. I think so. Yes. How did you uh, keep your English going so well? Do you use it for your it's work? It's not well. That's not good. I don't think so. Oh. You did it in school, and you just remembered it all these years, or you practice with it other practice people? Practice sometimes in, in the profession, and if you go on holidays or something like that, you get to practice. It's not too not too good. If I if I speak to somebody native uh, English, then I recognize that I cannot. I, I, I am on the surface only. <laughs> you sound pretty you good. Can't go, you can't go deeper. That's the problem. But for just for conversation, it's, it's it works. Okay. It, it works. works. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye bye. So, a beautiful car, the Citroën, and it's just gorgeous. Watch this thing go. Backing up, and then it will rise off the ground. There it goes. He's only been driving this one week. The best car from the 1950s and 60s. Isn't that beautiful? So that's how we roll with the, the random conversation interviews. <laughs> and that's part of my life is stopping people and having two minute, five minute conversations. And sometimes they turn into friendships over time. And uh, we got to hear a little World War II story from uh, his father who was born in 1911, so interesting stuff. And I thought his English was pretty good, but uh, we will catch up with you later.
I'm Sifu Slim, SifuSlim.com. Wishing you all the best and come to Kitzbühel and enjoy the life over here. Aloha. And I'll show you the car I'm riding around in. Not bad, a Nissan. Two wheel drive, <clears throat> but it does pretty well. And you get a couple of boxes, you can store your stuff. You gotta have the Birkenstocks. These I don't wear in Hawaii because it's often raining. So you wear what I have on here, the flip flops, which they call slippers in Hawaii. They call those slippers. Z Good backpack from Earth Creek. And got to have a copy of Sedentary Nation available in case you want to show people what you, what you do. There's my, my book and a little bio, Sedentary Nation. The answers are not found in the new millennium. They're in 1910. There it is. The Omega-3s, Trader Joe's, you got to have those. And there it is, the Nissan with diesel. Very good to have diesel, it gets much better mileage. Nicht rauchen, no smoking. Ne fume pas, nicht rauchen. And then in Germany, they're very smart. They put these, um, ref you know, the reflective, in case you're pulled over on the side of the road with your car broken down, you get to put this on. Germans are very intelligent, very intelligent people. So that's how I'm rolling in, in this Nissan, whatever it's called. Aloha from Kitzbühel. Sehr gut. Schönen Tag. Tschüss.